Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review No Exit, and this is a 20th Century Films thriller that is now going to be out on Hulu, and this film is from director Damien Power and focuses on a young woman named Darby, played by Havana Rose Lou, and she has substance abuse problems, she escapes when she finds out that her mother has an aneurysm, she's trying to get to the hospital, Roads are closed because of a blizzard. She winds up at a rest stop with a middle-aged couple played by Dennis Haysbert and Dale Dickey and two other men played by Danny Ramirez and David Reisdahl. And they're stuck in this place and when Darby walks out and is wandering around, finds a van with a young girl in the back tied up. And that's the setup. Who did it? Whose van is it? And how are they going to save this little girl? And... This is definitely an intense and suspenseful film, and I think Power does a really great job of building that tension and suspense throughout the film, and it's really shot well, the camera work is done well, there's, there's everything in camera, it's not dealing with a bunch of like quick cuts and stuff like that, it doesn't deal with jump scares, it deals with the setup and a lot of the... Tensions built from, okay, here's a new revelation. Who knows about this? How's Darby going to deal with this, with interacting with these characters? And Marco Beltrami, who collaborates on the score, this score is really affecting and poignant and emotional and really lays down some extra, picks up some of that slack in terms of building up that atmosphere in the film. Now, there's a lot of moving pieces, like, there's a, like, the first ten minutes or so, there's a lot of narrative beats that have to come together for, like, this happenstance to be a thing. Like, this young woman's in, ther in this program where she's locked in, she, her mother is now sick, she needs to escape, she escapes. Oh, there just happens to be a blizzard. Here's a blizzard. Cop happens to stop her because she happens to take a nap. And then it's like, oh, you have to go to this rest stop. Get to this rest stop. Just so happens that somebody at this rest stop has this little girl. And, like, there's a lot of things that go into, like, this is a very specific circumstance. And even at the end, it's one of those kinds of films where it's like, how many little extra beats are we going to take to keep this going? And to get this to this hour and 35 minutes instead of like an hour and 25 minutes. And there are some shocking reveals along the way. And some of them are more shocking than others. Some of them feel like, seriously, another thing. But in general, there's some pretty shocking and tension building reveals. And except there's one point that it feels like it kind of breaks up the narrative flow where they have this flashback trying to like explain how one of these people is involved but like the whole rest of this majority of this film is in this rest stop and the surrounding woods so like it getting ripped away from that for a bit feels a little awkward and weird at that moment and then you have in general strong performances from everybody and like I'm particularly fa fan of Dennis Haysbert. I think he's a great veteran presence here. You have Lou, who gives a really strong, anchoring lead performance in this film. Ramirez is pretty, uh, pretty interesting, and there's some interesting dynamics between him and David Reisdahl's character, who's definitely on edge and keeps you on edge as an audience member and in general I think this is a real solid thriller that offers up a decent amount of things that comes together it makes use of its setup and its setting and this like this is a uh, one of those kinds of here's a that quick high concept idea and it utilizes it well and it makes the most of it and deals with a decent amount of thrills and you know, by the end, I think pretty satisfying. But those are my thoughts on No Exit. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.